Hey guys, sorry for the lighting, but I just jumped out of my pool. I wanted to come and do my June unboxing for my Sephora Play Box, as well as talk about a bunch of other products that I have and products from last month's box, like what I thought about them. So let's just get into it. I think it's gonna be a little bit longer than normal because I do have quite a bit of things to show you, plus this entire box. And I can't make a really long video without my vape. I have a Cine Swirl by Cali Steam that I got in my sample box in here. Mmm, so good. Clouds bitch. Okay, let's just get into opening up my Sephora Play box. Oh, and if you guys don't follow me on social media, you might not know that I have four foster kittens. So hopefully they'll come and make an appearance. One's sleeping, one's playing over there. Oh! He just meowed. Did you hear him? Kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, yay. So here's the box. Da -da -da. What's the theme for this month? Your summer starters for this month. Ooh, the play card actually doesn't have stripes on it. It matches this like picture. And if you're new here, the play card gets you 50 extra beauty insider points with your purchase. So I always use this. Can you see him? Oh, look, there he is. Actually, I don't know if this is the girl or the boy, but it's one of them. Oh, they're like almost eight weeks. They'll be eight weeks next week. Why is Perrin? Oh, they're so little. I'm fostering them from the Humane Society. I like to help them during kitten season. Oh, I have to go though. I think this is the little girl because her eyes are her eyes are okay um they there's four of them and they are sick and they have like eye infections and so they need eye drops two times a day in each eye and so i've been doing that they only need it for a couple more days but anyways those are my babies so back to this sorry guys this is the little pamphlet of everything that you get in your box it tells you like what about it and how to use it and stuff so let's just get right into it and i see which i'm already happy about oh can you guys hear him that's hot little kitten Yep, he sniffed it. Anyways, I'm happy that this month's bag is back to like the cloth bag because I didn't really like the plastic from last month. And look at this month's bag. On the bottom it says, in a summer state of mind. First up in my bag. Ooh, what is this? Chlorine. Shampoo, and that's a different language. Dry shampoo with oat milk. So I'm excited to try this out. Right now I use the Detox Dry Shampoo and it was so good. I even bought a bigger bottle of it when my sample ran out. Next I have, ooh, oh, Verb. And this is Sea Spray, Windswept Waves plus Light Dry Texture. Oh, I should use that right now. My hair's still kind of wet from my pool. So this is a texture spray, cool. I do have a Leave-In Mist by Verb that I need to try that I got in a past box a long time ago but I haven't gotten around to like actually trying it to come back and be like, talk about it, you know, my opinion on it. But I do actually have an old product that I'm going to be talking about. Okay, this kitten doesn't know what he wants. Look, he's gonna jump down again when, and cry to get right back up. Ooh, this is a Kat Von D liquid lip, it looks like. It just says Kat Von D on it. And this is really small writing, love sick. Here it is, I could swatch it. Oh, camera focus, but I feel like my camera wouldn't really pick up on it well because I don't have any lighting going right now but I'll go ahead and just check it out anyway because I'm kind of curious myself what if I just try to put it on in the viewfinder oh this is too far away can't really see what I'm doing <laughs> this is a bad idea I'll just swatch it Ooh. I like it. It's a nice little toned down pinky color. Yes, you can kind of see it. I see my veins too. Weird. Cool. I like it. And now I kind of like half ass put it on my lips. So sorry, guys. You're going to have to deal with it. What's this? The Professional by Benefit. I think I've heard of this. And is it like a primer? Apply it outward from center of face. Focus on problem areas. So maybe it's just a, a pore minimizer. Is this what you want? Jeez. Pro Balm to minimize the appearance of pores. Cool. Definitely gonna be trying this. I think I've heard of it too. Guys, this is what he wanted. Or she. I can't, I don't know which one it is. They just wanna be held. 
Next, I got this cool face cooler. It's like S it has SPF and it's makeup setting spray. And I'm interested in trying it out. That's cool. Anything to help in the summertime, actually. And last, we have the Smelly. And this is Omnia by Crystalline. This is what it looks like. And, oh, kitten. Hang on. And I'm going to spray it and smell it. Mmm. Smells really good. But as I've said multiple times, I'm like not picky at all. He fits in the bag. <laughs> so cute. Here's the other one. Two little black kittens. Here's two of my four fosters. Aww, they're so cute. All right, so that was the entirety of my June Sephora box. Now let me talk about past products. First of all, I want to talk about this one first of all because I did not use this, but I promise I'm going to use it and come back next month. This is the sugar um, purifying sea salt scrub that you put in your hair. I actually probably should use it on my hair right now since I just got my pool and I got chlorine in my hair. And then for this, this was the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. I do have a lip injections by Too Faced Lip Plumper and I think that one I like better. This one did tingle a little bit but not as much as the other one and when it tingles you know it's working. And then from last month I also had a magnetic lip color and what color was this? Gray stone. So this is not my color but oh my gosh this stuff does not come off. Even like I had to get like makeup removing wipes like on my lips like it wouldn't come off just for wiping or talking or eating or even showering. This stuff stays on so like I love it in other colors but this is this is not my color. Then I had this highlighting stick. It is Tristique, I think is how you pronounce it, and it's a highlighting stick. And I was like kind of skeptical because the one of, that I got before this one was crappy, but this one was actually really good. It's a really more like thinner formula, so it's easier to blend out with a beauty blender. And then the ceramic slip clay cleanser by Sunday Riley. It comes out as this like kind of green color. You just shake it and then you put it on. And I kind of I liked it because it like really. Um, it didn't bother my skin and I have really sensitive skin but then I when I started using the friction stick by Tarte which was that little purple friction stick um, cleanser exfoliator that I got in a past box that I wasn't using but then I did try it because I use it here and here in my problem areas um, when I'd use that and then this cleanser it would really burn so and I was just checking this out because I just wanted to try it but my favorite cleanser is the purity cleanser which I have shown you guys in past videos so if you want to check those out to see that one that's I'm still I haven't gotten a big bottle of it yet because I've been using the other ones just to try them out but I know that I still like that one the most so I got this little mini kit of Tarte products from my beauty insider points I think it was in last month and I went I showed you guys it and I just wanted to do really quickly go over these so these are the Tarte Sun Guard they have SPF 20 in them there's light light medium and medium here and I went ahead Head and tried the light medium today and even though like in this lighting it kind of looks like it matches it's a little bit lighter than what my tan is and that's the only reason I tried this today is because I wanted to see like if I I know I need to go get a darker shade because I only have a shade th that I discovered in the winter so when I was like super pale and so I need to go get a new darker foundation but I was just trying this out to see how it felt and I actually kind of like how it feels um, I'm also wearing this right now which I only tried it to, for the sake of this video just to have like a small opinion on it because I don't think I'll be using it much this is brighter days tart it's a luminizing moisturizer and I don't one I don't like luminating moisturizers because I really red skin here and here and here on my face and the highlighting moisturizer just makes it redder for me but like it actually kind of looks cool with this this duo right now I put the moisturizer on first and it kind of burned so I didn't really like that because I have really sensitive skin but I can see where it's kind of like unless that's just like <laughs> my eyes are playing illusion on me but I feel like it kind of made the, my whole face kind of like glow with this over top of it which is cool but at the same time I didn't like how it kind of burned then this is the drink of h2o it is a moisturizer hydrating moisturizer by Tarte, and it's super aesthetic like and i've used almost all of it to get a good opinion on it because it's so cute and i love this bottle it's actually a second to my favorite facial moisturizer which i'm going to talk about but this is a close second like if i didn't have that one if this is cheaper it better be cheaper than that stuff that i'm going to talk about then i'd get it for like a second but like it doesn't be my favorite so but it's not bad it doesn't make my skin burn or turn it red or anything and then there's the maracuja sea 
brightener cream and it's an under eye cream and it's supposed to like brighten them i did use it a couple times i i don't think i used it enough to see results because it but it also claims to like have results right away which i don't think i notice and i would put it because i have like dark under eye circles and then dark up here so i put it all around i don't think i saw like an instant difference i don't know if i i've not in the color but i feel like it kind of tightened it up around here which i think is also something else that this does other than brighten up the area but um i'm going to continue to use this and probably come back with a second opinion on it in another month i'll probably be out of it by then <sighs> i'm trying to like speed talk so i can get through this makeup video <laughs> so you guys aren't having to sit here for you know half an hour watch this video it turns out to be half an hour oh Sorry, so the girl foster kitten that I am taking care of right now is sick, still pretty sick, and she just shat on a blanket on the couch. Thank goodness it was on a blanket that I can throw into the wash where she had like runny diarrhea, and I put her in the room. Well, I set her in the litter box in the separate room, and I feel really bad because her poor little tummy, that's the second time she's taken a nasty poop not in a litter box. Anyways, I wanted to talk about this, and maybe if you've seen my past box videos, you would know what this is. I actually got this in... I don't even know how many boxes ago. And it's a Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser with Red Clay. Kind of like the Sunday Riley thing I had, only this is with Red Clay, and so I'm gonna try this out. I don't know why I didn't use it before. I think I thought that it was like one that you only use like once a week and that, that kind of stuff, like, cause you know, it's like hard on the skin or whatever. And so I was like, eh, I don't really want anything like that. But it's actually one you can use twice a day. So I'll probably use it once a day or every two days. And it says it's safe for sensitive skin. It says allergy tested. So hopefully it won't be too bad on my skin i may oops i did try it before and i may have briefly talked about it in a past video but this is still pretty much a full bottle and i want to go ahead and try it out but the purity cleanser is still my number one and it's not a clay cleanser either so now on to new products so i'm going to first start with these two things because it's funny i didn't actually pay for either of these this one i got this is actually just a smelly and i just wanted to show you guys because it's Dolce, Dolce and Gabbana, but I wanted to smell it because my mom gave it to me. Actually, how I got this is my mom went, we went to Macy's and I got a new Michael Kors wallet and also she got Poison, the uh, perfume, and then got this as a little free sample and she gave it to me. Mmm, oh my god. Ooh, this smells better than the, actually the one that I got in my Sephora box. Oh my god, it smells so good. I wonder if you can get this brand at Sephora. You probably can. You can I just, we were at Macy's. And then this is actually a Peter Thomas Roth Mega Rich Body Lotion. And I was super stoked about this because I found, and I talked about it in last month probably, the, um water drench i think it's called the hyaluronic cloud cream by peter thomas roth for my face it's a fa facial moisturizer which is the best one that i got and i actually got a big box of it and i'm going to talk about it but anyways i was like peter thomas roth i was like where does that name ring a bell i was like oh yeah when we stayed at the hilton in um los angeles california they had peter thomas roth little toiletries in the hotel and i like took all of them because i am totally that person who takes all like the shampoos and the soaps and the lotions and uses them when i get home i take my own shampoos and soaps and stuff on me on vacation but i always end up taking the ones like at the hotels and using them later and then i was like oh yeah i you know the hilton hat gave us like these toiletries so there's like peter thomas roth body wash shampoo conditioner which i'll probably talk about next month's video and then there was this lotion and i actually had two bottles from the hilton for the this and i used one already i love it i love it this is the mega rich body lotion with vitamin c e and pro vitamins bs for soft smooth nourished moisturized skin this is a clinical skincare line and i really like the lotion and the facial moisturizer which i'll show you in a second and we'll see what i think next month of the shampoo and conditioner because i have two bottles of shampoo and two bottles of conditioner so i'll be able to get a good opinion on it versus um honestly i use swap i use off the shelf brands and i know i need to get like a better shampoo for my hair keep it my blonde hair it's actually grown out so much this is like my natural color it's like a really dark dirty blonde and this is the bleach that i'm just letting grow out and chopping off slowly anyways oh my god okay i know this okay we'll go to this because this, i'm so excited to finally open this and the only reason i haven't opened this is because i was using the tarte drink of h2o facial moisturizer just for this video to give you an opinion and see what it was like but it didn't compare to this so this is the where is the full name this is the water drench hyaluronic cloud cream hydrating moisturizer and this was actually 52 dollars so it's pretty expensive but oh my god is it so worth it here it is it comes like this oh, i love it 
this. This is my favorite facial moisturizer. Ooh, I'm excited to start using it because I am out, almost out of that Tarte stuff. And then I also got this. This is a Too Faced Bite Size Beauties. It is a 500 yeah, it was a 500 points. Was it 500 points? It might have been more, but it's a $65 value and I got it for free with my purchase. So let's check out what's inside. Actually, I already know what's inside because there's obviously a picture, but I waited because I wanted to unbox this part with you. This is the Beauty Insider Points. That's why I, oh my God. It's a mini chocolate palette it's so cute okay well look at this this is the chocolate bar palette I'm sure everybody and their grandma knows about this palette it's so cute it's just got three flavors champagne truffle salted caramel semi-sweet and chocolate soleil mm. here it is super cute mini chocolate bar next i got the shadow insurance it's the Too faced uh, uh eyeshadow primer which is perfect to get an eyeshadow primer with a little tiny eyeshadow palette even though i'm not one that wears eyeshadow a lot oh my gosh you guys here's my favorite kitten he is a siamese look at him i want to keep him i've named him olivander from harry potter but ollie for short all right next i have melted chocolate and this was liquefied long wear lipstick is it brown the color is honey chocolate oh my gosh what i think it's brown oh it is i don't want to put it on it's brown i'll swatch it but check it out next to that pink yeah i'd say it's a really light like melted chocolate brown like if you melted a hershey's chocolate bar that's funny and then the one I was most excited for, actually, this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. When I first started these Sephora videos, this was the one that was recommended to me the most to try. So I'm super excited to try it. Um, right now, currently, and reigning favorite is the Bobbi Brown Mascara. So I'm going to see where this will rank. So that's all the makeup products I have today to yak at you guys about. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. And don't forget to turn on the bell notification symbol down below. I do upload daily and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.